Girl, me when you're bad Girl, me when you're bad, oh Girl, me when you're bad Tell a team controller You don't know that me love you, girl Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel My name is The Billy Peters And if you let me, welcome back to my channel So you guys for starters, today I wanted to do a chit chat. I want to talk about finance, relationship, friendships. Friendships are really covered because I did a toxic friendship chit chat, which you should go see and leave in the cards when you finish this video because you want to finish this video and support your girl. So, yeah, I want to talk about I don't know if you call it self care, but it's mostly based off me. It's I asked my Instagram, I asked my followers on Instagram like a week or two weeks ago like what they would want to know about me in terms of like relationship finance and all that and i got responses a lot of them were very childish and very inappropriate but i will answer what i found thought was appropriate i only have some because most of the questions were repeated yeah most of the questions were just repeated so the first thing i'll talk about is relationships so I put a poll, like I said, and the questions I got were, have you ever been in a relationship? And if you have been, how many? I've only been in one relationship. One relationship. Like, I wouldn't even count it as a relationship because I don't know if it was like serious on the other person's side, but on my side it was serious. Like, I, can't, I don't know if I, I would call it an obsession afterwards, but it became creepy. But I'm over it. Your girl's over it. Yeah. So I've only been in one relationship. Yeah. Then the next question is if you could get back with your ex, would you and which one? I've only been with one person per se. So the reason why we broke up wasn't like a bad reason like cheating or like yeah it was it was just toxic so i wouldn't say i would get back with them i don't have a reason to but if we were to like try to talk and maybe find a reason to get back together maybe maybe we would because it wasn't like you know um you know so yeah <laughs> would you last why did your last relationship end well why does it end it was you guys my relationship was in 2019 and as far as i remember it was something very petty so i think the person was just tired of being with me for some reason but <laughs> The, it was something petty so i think i feel if you in a relationship that you don't want to be in i'm really sorry that my necklace is blowing yeah if you don't be in a relationship with someone don't fake it you know like the person is getting fond of you being around and it's really going to affect them in a lot of ways when you just decide from now that you don't be with them so i think Try talking to them about it and tell them like nothing like hey i don't let me just be straight up honest with you i'm not trying to be with you anymore you know but don't be with me that's so mean. then my relationship advice is don't be in a toxic relationship like don't stay in a relationship if it's toxic don't feel obligated to be in that relationship obligated yeah don't feel like you know this person's gonna laugh at me no blah it's you it's all you at the end of the day it's all you that's your feelings that's how it's going to affect you mentally physically in a lot of ways so don't be in a toxic relationship if you think it's toxic and you can't deal with it move on like then is it okay to be single yes it's i've been single from 2019 not that i haven't been talking to people like Two people since him, two, yeah. I only talked to two people since him, and honestly, it's okay to be single, like, you get lonely sometimes, but it's okay. Like, 
you have time to think about yourself you have time to think about your needs what you need what you want out of life then yeah i answered the personal questions then the next thing is my finance i'm not gonna like put my finances out there like like this is how much i need no <laughs> no <laughs> no and this is something i really want to bring up someone used to come to me like there's a point in time when i traded for like full time like i didn't do any of the any of the things i'm doing now so someone came to me which was last year yeah someone came to me someone came to me and told me no come in yeah so someone came to me last year early last year and told me the reason don't get your mom's money and then pretend to be making the money from forex out of like don't pretend to be making money and then blaming it like putting okay she was, she was trying to say that the money i was making i was putting out there was money that i was that was handed to me and i was faking it but my mom is gone now and i still have that money so i'm still managing to make my own money so i don't want people to come at me like no Sabine. that's very disrespectful like if you've got an opinion about someone you can think it like i would always be like no nah, that's that's car what if it's his car like i, ju I just thought it not that i'll put it out there and like to the person like no that's your father's car no, no, no don't do that that's petty that's childish you don't know what the person yeah like i won't say we were like you know she you yeah she gave us money but it wasn't like much money it was just so she can see if we can be economically you know if we can you get it <laughs> you get the fact so don't do that so yeah this is me coming back now and i am going to go back to forex a lot of people have been asking me actually i am back on forex it's just that i'm using demo still and i was trying out in my strategy and a new strategy i don't know if combining if you don't know for it you probably one more time i was trying to see if i could combine my strategy with the strategy that someone very dear to me my cousin shout out to Musa Tembo, that taught me i need to see if i can like merge them so it's, i'm working on it yeah so my finances my advice to you is always have a savings account you guys you will never know how much a savings account can help you in the near future the near future that you know it's a savings account is needed as long as you are a human being it's, think of it as life insurance think of it like that because i don't want to go to like i don't want to combine two things but i have a mentor like not like a mentor that knows me like how it me i know like a mentor like youtube her name is lisa nichols i don't know that's like like start giving her background story of how she blah, blah, blah. no but she helped me in a lot of ways like lisa nichols really spoke to me as a person although most of her seminars weren't really like deep about prayer and all that but she always put god first that's one thing you should know her seminars were more like teaching you how to go about life you know like as a human being or oh, i shout out to you know i won't say her name yet because she's still working on a lot of things i can't explore her but if you like this cute talk it was only 35 40 40 because she's not it i like it a lot I, it's not my style it's cute it's cute it's cute <laughs> i can't say much it's cute are you feeling the outfit yeah anyway shout out to her and if you want any i think if i'm not mistaken i think it's 45 or 40 i'm not somewhere in between those that's because she's trying to like you know do her or she's really got a passion for 
tailoring and all that okay yeah so finance wise always save your money you guys because i was talking about lisa nichols she saved her money for like close to three years and made a million dollars and invested in she got a lot of ideas and invested her ideas in you know and now she's <laughs> a millionaire as we're speaking you know so i would put a link to one of her seminars that i really please listen to like i'm begging listen to i'll put a link below and if you want her to become your mentor if you can. she's a little bit older so if you want a mentor who's like younger that's your choice but i go for more older people so yeah then about finance spend spend less i'm not the person to even get advice from one that i recently i've been spending every day you guys like and you know the funny thing let me actually talk about this i got a shit right i got a shit from this store the fix yeah and it's small you probably want I, I don't know if i put a photo of it i don't know if i put a photo of it yeah it, it looked so nice on the mannequin that i just had to get it so i'm giving away this top it's a size small it's a size small oh shit okay i don't know how youtube people manage to show yeah so i'm giving away this top so if your size small and you're like me who's got big boobs this shirt is really big. so if you've got big boobs like me you won't be able to fit the top so if you have small boobs and you want the top dm your girl on instagram dm me on instagram so yeah mm. spend this it's okay to have fun this that was the last part for finance the fun remember to always have fun don't punish yourself because you're trying to see although lisa nicole said it's better to suffer now and enjoy later but i am highly against that for some personal reasons also but like i'll give a reason you might save all that and life is short you guys like life you won't know when life is just going to say sorry baby girl sorry boy it's time to go so always remember to put yourself first like it's okay to spend on shoes and <laughs> beauty spend on shoes it's okay to but remember to save like have i'm sure you get it yeah then let's talk about prayer so like i'm not deep into like prayer i want like start lying to you like no i pray every day i want no let me just be honest i'm not like into prayer but i pray like the, I, i've been having bad dreams lately and i've been praying about them and i tried to make a group on on i may i did make a group on whatsapp about prayer and then i wouldn't say like the girls that i added weren't serious but this just they make me feel lazy like it's supposed to be it was supposed to be like something we can all contributing but then it's like when you make a group you have to be the boss no it wasn't me like, i don't have time for that <laughs> you know yeah then your body take care of your body your face your insides like do something about yourself you know oh i didn't answer questions on finance i'm so sorry so some of the questions i asked they were asked to me were how much money do you make from for it so i wouldn't say i was making as much money but i would make like a 50 dollars in a week i'll make like because it's not that i'll make just that like you find i reach like 130 dollars 200 dollars then all of a sudden the market just says the no so like on average i would say like 50 dollars every on average on average so imagine if i was saving and i made 50 dollars every week and every 50 dollar i made i saved 
How much money do you think? In a month, I'll probably have like two hundred dollars. It's not much for a lot of people, but it can do you good. You know, that's like two hundred dollars by twelve. $200 anyway the next thing yeah the last thing I want to talk about is body take care of your body like I'm not one to even stay to go there my face has been having a mad breakout a mad like I don't know if you can even I don't want to come close because I need I need oh my god my ring just fell I need um proper Time to like sit down and like find out stuff about my face because my face has moves it's like it's got seasons it's like summer it's, it, it prepares for summer body in a different way yeah so take care of your face take care of your body drink more water physically and everything then there's something called d dopamine that I really like the whole point of even me coming to this video was i watched a youtube video last week i'm in front of watching youtube videos to do with personal growth and stuff so there's something it's there's a something called dopamine that's something that gives you pleasure it, it's like oh my god okay let me give an example of people who drink right so the first time you take alcohol it's like okay it's okay the second time you take it you're like, ah, yeah okay it's good then you keep taking it's because your body is experiencing pleasure in taking it and then it slowly becomes an addiction like the phone one minute you're on instagram you like the photo you leave the next minute you're so every time it becomes a habit where even when you're not doing anything your instagram scrolling it's called dopamine it's in your you know cycle it's so you need a dopamine detox and i highly advise every person to take it no matter how focused you are a dopamine if you think you're addicted to something that's not good for you take a dopamine um detox is like getting off that thing for a specific period of time i mean slowly adapting brothers that like on youtube i'm not here to talk about dopamine on youtube you can search for that so thank you guys for tuning into my channel don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my instagram yeah bye